how can you stop yo-yo dieting? Well, if you've ever asked yourself that question or just been struggling with that, stick around because that's what we're going to be talking about today on this episode of Live Free TV. If we haven't met before, I'm Emily Quisenberry, and I am a holistic weight loss and wellness coach, and I specialize in helping women, specifically women in their 40s and 50s, learn how to get strong, get fit, and get healthy for good. Um, so they quit living on that roller coaster of dieting and binging and restricting and all of those crazy things that we do. So today, um, before we get started, I want to make sure that you have picked up my free guide to flexible dieting. Now, this may or may not be um, a way for you to find freedom with food, um, but it has been for me. And so when I find something that I love, I want to share it. So I, if that is um, interesting to you, just click on the orange button um, below the video on my blog, or if you're on YouTube, there should be a link below the video that you can just put your information in and then the video will be sent, I mean the guide will be sent directly to your inbox. But make sure that you check your spam folder because it could have landed there. Okay, so let's get on with today. How can you stop yo-yo dieting? Well, it's pretty simple. I didn't say easy, but it is simple. And it really comes down to one word. And that is decide. We have to make a decision. And there's actually three decisions that I think are critical to help us stop yo-yo dieting. The first decision is to stop having definitions around food, that there is a right way to eat or a wrong way to eat, or that there are good foods or bad foods. Decide it today. The second decision that you wanna make is to decide that you're going to explore to find the best way for you to eat for the rest of your life, long-term, something that is sustainable. And I'm gonna just tell you, most likely that is not gonna be by eliminating an entire type of food. Um, so be willing to be adventuresome in this and to give yourself opportunity to figure this out. So decide it, decide it today. And then the third decision is to decide to do this until, until what? Until you figure it out, until you find a place where you can live and that you can sustain it, until you feel good about your body, the way you eat, your size, decide that you're going to do it until you have a healthy relationship with food. Now, I realize that those are a lot of decides. Those are a lot of decisions. But I'm going to tell you that when you make that decision in your head and you draw that line in the sand and you say, today, I'm going to stop deciding, I'm going to stop saying things are good or bad or right or wrong. I'm going to find what works for me and I'm going to do it until there is freedom even in that. And that can really loosen that yoke of deciding to go on a deprivation diet and restrict all the things that I described in the very first part of the post. So that is my encouragement to you and my invitation is make a decision today. And I am here to support you and help you in any way that I can. So I want you to pick up the free guide to flexible dieting by clicking on the orange button below the video on the blog or in the link below the video on YouTube. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Be blessed.